welcome back. Now that we have walked through all of the quiz settings available to us, let's take a look at the questions. If we click on the questions area, we'll see a list of all of the questions in our Learn Dash installation. This includes any questions that we added via the quiz builder. We also have the general question settings, so we can create question categories to make it easy to manage multiple question banks. And we have some management and display settings. If we go back to all questions and click on one of the questions we have, we'll see a basic editor where we can add question text as well as answers. We can also see where this question sits in the quiz, and we can manage all of the questions in the builder that we saw in a previous video. We can add a question category, and we can choose the answer type. So our answer type here is single choice, but we also have multiple choice, free, which is freehand, sorting, which requires the student to sort the options, matrix sorting, which is an advanced form of sorting, fill in the blank, assessment, and essay open answer. We're going to keep this at single choice. So we'll add a couple of options here. With our choices added, we can assign a number of points to this quiz. We can add a featured image, and we could customize the messaging. So we can choose to show a correct and incorrect message. We can add a hint, and we can use a template. We can also save a template from this question. So if you know you're going to have the same exact settings for every single choice quiz question, you can create a template based on that. We'll leave these as is, so we will click update. You'll notice that we're getting an error message here, no question deposited. We are getting that because we actually do need to add the question to the content area. If we click update, our question will save. So the title is for our own internal reference and the content area is where the question belongs. If we go back to our WordPress question, the first question in our quiz, we'll add the question to the content area. And then we'll look at a different answer type. So here we have chosen a multiple choice answer. Here the student will be able to select all of the answers that are appropriate for the question. So of the answers, two out of three of them are correct. And again, we'll have the same settings, including the template. But with that, let's go ahead and update. One more thing to point out before we leave this area is the settings for each question. And this is going to have one area where you can associate the question with a specific quiz. Now, if we go back to our quizzes area and view it, we'll see what our quiz looks like on the front end. If we click start quiz, our first question is what is WordPress? This has a multiple select or checkbox answer. We'll select the two right answers. And then our single answer has radio boxes, which means we can only select one. If we finish the quiz, we got two out of two questions correct. Our time was 17 seconds and we got a 100%. So that's it for creating questions for our quizzes.